Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Princess Beatrice displayed her sense of style on Tuesday night when she joined a star-studded group for a private party in London for Gabriella Peacock's critically acclaimed second book. On Tuesday night, the princess celebrated her close friend Gabriella Peacock with her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mosi. The Princess of Wales, the Duchess of Edinburgh, Queen Camilla, and other British designers Ni Plus EM created the pink flowery mini-dress that the royal wore, and she looked like the essence of spring. To finish off her evening ensemble, she accessorized her watercolor flowery dress from the company with burgundy velvet heels and a basic gold charm bracelet. Princess Beatrice accentuated her gorgeous natural features with a hint of pink lip gloss and a rosy blush to go with her fiery auburn hairstyle that was sleekly blow-dried. The queen attended the celebration of Gabriella's book, Two Weeks to a Young the You, and the debut of her longevity range supplements, together with celebrities including Piers Morgan, Jodie Kidd, and Sophia Blunt. Longtime pals, the princess and Gabriella recently opened out to hear hello about Beatrice's daughter Sienna, according to the dietitian. Gabriella mentioned that she will be spending time in the Cotswolds this summer with Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Vapelli-Mosi. Sienna is absolutely gorgeous and looks exactly like B, Gabriella remarked. Gabriella gave a sweet description of Sienna, who has not yet made her formal public debut. She's really cheeky and has a very good personality. Beatrice has such a good heart and she's such a kind person, so motherhood came very naturally to her. She's a fantastic mum, Beatrice's best friend said, praising the princess for her recent position as a mother. She has known Edo's seven-year-old son, Wolfie, since they first met, and she has always had an amazing relationship with him. She is quite interested in the lives of both children and nurturing. Sharing this new chapter in my best friend's life with her is a pleasure as I watch her blossom. Queen Camilla and four other senior royal family members have been given important new posts by King Charles. The Order of the Garter has inducted one senior royal. Her Majesty has been appointed as Grand Master and First or Principal Dame Grand Cross of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, as Buckingham Palace formally announced on Tuesday. The late Duke of Edinburgh, Queen Mary of Teck, the late Queen's grandmother, and King George VI, while he was the Prince of Wales, were all previous Grand Masters. The Prince and Princess of Wales have also received new titles from the King, Great Master of the Most Honourable Order of the Bath, Prince William has been appointed. Although it is thought to have originated as early as the 8th century, King George I founded the Most Honourable Order of the Bath in 1725. It is given to civil servants or military personnel in recognition of their exceptional service. Charles as Prince of Wales, Prince Henry as Duke of Gloucester and Prince Arthur as Duke of Connaught and Strathon, were among the previous Grand Masters. Princess Kate has also been named a Royal Companion of the Order of the Companions of Honour, which is a brand new title. King George V established the order in 1917 to honour exceptional accomplishments in the fields of public service, science, medicine, and the arts. In the meantime, the Duchess of Gloucester has joined the most noble order of the Garter as a Royal Lady Companion, she is expected to make her formal debut at the event on June 17. The Right Honourable Lord Kaka, Lord Lloyd Webber, and A Chief Marshal the Lord Peach are among the other members of the Order. The Prime Minister's special envoy to the Western Balkans is Lord Peach, a 49-year veteran of the UK Armed Forces, and the country's most successful composer, Lord Lloyd Webber, is responsible for the scores of some of the most well-known musicals in history, such as Cats and Phantom of the Opera. In addition to serving as president of the Thrombosis Research Institute and Emeritus Professor of Surgery at University College London, Lord A.J. Kaka is a member of the House of Lords, which royals are enrolled in the Garter's Order. Founded by King Edward Iwi around 700 years ago, 
The Order of the Garter is the most senior and oldest order of chivalry in Britain. The Sovereign of the Garter, the King, the Queen, a number of members of the royal family, and eighteen knights or ladies who have been selected for their achievements are all members of the order. The King's siblings, Princess Royal, Duke of Kent and Duke of Edinburgh, as well as the late Queen Elizabeth Hughes' relatives, the Duke of Kent, Princess Alexandra, and the Duke of Gloucester, are among the current members of the royal knighthood. When Queen Camilla made her debut at the event in 2022 as a royal lady of the Order of the Garter, Prince William made history in 2008 when he was appointed as the 1,000th Knight of the Garter. With the birth of their first child, Lady Louise, in November 2003, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh celebrated a happy occasion with the royal family. 2003 saw the birth of the daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Their baby, weighing 4 pounds, 9 ounces, was born via emergency caesarean section on Saturday, November 8, at 11.32 p.m. According to the official statement, both Her Royal Highness and her daughter are stable. The infant was brought to St. George's Hospital's regional neonatal unit in Tooting as a mere precaution. However, did you realize that Louise's birth had a major historical impact on the British royal family? Being born with the surname Mountbatten Windsor, she was the first royal to have it. Prince Philip and the late Queen Elizabeth Eu came up with the idea for the hyphenated name. The late monarch changed the surname from Windsor, which had traditionally been the royal family's last name, to more accurately represent her marriage to Philip, whose last name had been Mountbatten. Therefore, the Privy Council decreed in 1960 that the hyphenated name Mountbatten Windsor would be used by the late Queen's descendants, excluding those who marry or have the title of Prince slash Princess and the style of Royal Highness. Given HRA titles at birth, Louise and her brother James had the option to use them when they became 18, but Louise, who is now 20 years old, has decided not to. Although Lady Louise was the first royal to inherit the surname from birth, Princess Anne's marriage to Captain Mark Phillips became the first formal document to use the new royal surname. She did, in fact, use the Mountbatten Windsor surname while signing the marriage register at Westminster Abbey. Lady Louise, who is a student at the University of Standrews, has had a busy time lately. Additionally, the 20-year-old was conspicuously missing from the yearly Easter matins ceremony held at Street George Chapel in Windsor back in March, for the second year in a row. It appears likely that Duchess Sophie's daughter had been preoccupied with her university coursework, even if her absence went unnoticed at the time. The official website of the university states that the second semester concluded on April 8, and that students had a two-week revision break before starting exams on April 20. But James Earl of Wessex, Louise's 16-year-old brother, did show up for the church service. His father, the Duke of Edinburgh, chose a navy tie with bright pink chicks on it, while he donned a whimsical pale blue tie with white bunnies on it for the springtime outing. Sophie, on the other hand, caught eyes of her bright purple predicoat and her cream fascinator in the manner of a barret. The royal mother of two, who is well known for reproposing clothing, initially wore the jewel-toned item in 2014 when she went to the Royal Artillery Barracks String Orchestra. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.